I decided to use a doula because it was something that we didn't do with the other kids. I needed somebody to advocate for me. The other kids, I didn't really have anybody to advocate for me, so I knew this would probably be less things that I had to deal with during my delivery. Programs that are serving black women are very important. Black women are three to four times likely to die than white women, and so that alone, if we look at that and we look at the outcome with having to do that, how that can lower those statistics, that says enough. A lot of the times in the hospital or giving birth, they'll just do anything with black women. They are not honest about medications they give us. They're not honest about a whole lot of things pertaining to us as black women. I also could recall many moments where we would have to be at the doctor's offices and my wife didn't always do the greatest job of advocating for herself, so I found myself having to really speak up and you know, advocate on her behalf. But I'm not a woman. I don't understand the process, so that even that was difficult. It was kind of going, man, all right, my wife's pregnant again. Like, this time we have to have a doula. But when I came to her to ask her about you know, getting a doula, she immediately was like, no. At first, I was not interested in it at all, but um, later on, I found out that one of my childhood friends, Michelle, or Shelly, was a doula, so it made me more comfortable about doing it. This work is important to me because I have a lot of friends and family who I have heard horror stories from their birth experiences, and so being able to um, educate and inform them on how to advocate for themselves and their babies has been an amazing feeling just to be able to inform so that they can advocate for themselves in their lives. Rochelle helped me create a list of my birth plan. She went to a doctor's appointment with me, with Dr. Heller, so she advocated for me to make sure she knew exactly what I wanted and felt comfortable with. She would talk to me often to make sure like I was staying calm and I wasn't overdoing it with my kids, my breathing technique. So she was just a support system that I really Take a Ruth program is relationship-based, so it's very important to us to really establish that relationship with the mom, so getting to know her, her history, her family history, their perspective on pregnancy, birth, um, and taking care of baby. Uh, we find out that a lot of moms, um, they just go according to what their moms have passed down, which is fine, but sometimes it's just as simple as not having the education. Um, so we're really big on the relationship base, providing that education. So pregnancy, how your body is changing, breastfeeding, what that looks like, how does it feel, and we support them through that journey as well. Um, also providing baby care. A lot of parents come to us and they're unsure of how to take care of baby. They're second guessing their ability. And so just reassuring them that just trust yourself, trust your gut, trust the knowledge that we're providing to you, um, and just know that you can go far. I think a doula is great because they help you think of ways to deliver safe. It's really important for black women to have one. During my last delivery with my son, uh, I lost too much blood or I almost died. And after, um, you know, my son was delivered, my wife was not looking good. I couldn't celebrate like I normally do with my other kids because I was looking at her and she was pale and um, I mean, I, I really was really scared. And normally you have that kind of response where they tell you, you either fight, flight, or freeze. And I'm normally the, the fighter. Like, I don't I don't run, and I definitely don't freeze. I, I fight, but in that moment, that's pro I froze. I didn't know what to do. I felt helpless. But I looked up and I seen Michelle right next to my wife, kind of talking to her and trying to coach her through it, um, and telling her to breathe and to calm, remain calm, and, and so forth. And I think, Michelle being right there um, to just calm me down, to make sure that I was breathing, to make sure that the doctors knew what I needed, to make sure that you know she was there to support Alonzo during that tough time. I just feel like that was all amazing and she did amazing work. With the Sacred Roots program, a lot of the times we are becoming more than just doulas to these moms. We're becoming social workers, we're becoming therapists, we're becoming so many other things. Um, and a lot, again, because we are relationship-based, we are wanting to go to the root of some of these things that they are dealing with to see how we can equip them with the tools, with the resources, to be able to give to them so that they can be the best parents they can be. Um, but the only way to do that is to get to the root of it and start that healing process. It's different from knowing the program and knowing what we do to actually seeing it in action when it's your family and watching her be with my wife, advocate for my wife, encourage my wife, and knowing that my wife kind of had that outlet 
that wasn't me <laughs> was was off the hood. It's it's an amazing support to have a doula to be able to kind of be there to be that light to be that encouragement also to be that resource to be that education all those different things we are here we're ready to do the work we really are wanting to um, build that relationship so that they can have a birth that they desire to have just find somebody that you trust and do it and your pregnancy and your delivery will be less stressful and somebody will be there to look out for you so